Hi, in this lesson you will learn about volume, which is a type of measure that three-dimensional objects have. The dimensions include length, width, and height. You can think of volume as the space inside a container, or how many small cubes it can hold. Let's look at these two questions. How many centimeter cubes can you fit into one base layer? And how many layers will fill the entire carton? Keep in mind that the base layer is the same as the area of an object, which you find by multiplying the length by the width. How many centimeter cubes can you fit into one base layer? You're not going to add up all the cubes. You're going to use multiplication. You can fit 12 centimeter cubes along the length of the base, and the width of this base is 8 centimeters, so you can fit 8 cubes along the width. Using this, how can you find the total number of cubes that fill the base layer? Take the length and the width, and you're going to look at this equation. Base layer or the area equals length times width. So you'll multiply 12 by 8 and you get 96 square centimeters. So for this base layer, you could fit 96 cubes here. Now, how many layers will fill the entire carton? You're going to see how many cubes you can fit from the base of this juice carton to the top. And it's important to note that the carton is 10 centimeters high, so you can fill up to 10 layers of centimeter cubes here. And we need to know that for this question. What is the volume of the carton? We know that the volume is the total number of centimeters cubes in the carton. So we just found out the height, the number of layers, and we're going to multiply that by the number in each layer or the base area. So that's 10 times 96 and that will give you 960 cubic centimeters. The volume of this juice carton is 960 cubic centimeters or you can say that you can fit 960 cubes in this juice carton. Before we move on let's look at these two key facts. Area equals length times width and, as you also have already learned, the volume equals the area of the base times the height. In some situations, you're actually going to know the volume and you'll be asked to find a missing dimension. Let's look at this question. A small box has a base area of 120 square centimeters and a volume of 360 cubic centimeters. What is its height? Keep in mind volume equals base area times height. Plug in the numbers that you do know, which in this case 360 are the volume and 120 are the base area. Here's the missing dimension we're looking for, height. Ask yourself, what times 120 equals 360? Do you know what times 12 equals 36? 12 times 3 equals 36. So, 120 times 3 equals 360. And you can see the height is 3 centimeters. You can also find this value by something that we call related division. In this case, you would use this equation, since we're looking for the height. Height equals volume divided by base area. Plug in the numbers you know. 360 for volume and 120 for base area. 360 divided by 120 equals 3 centimeters. So again, you see that the height is 3 centimeters. Great job! You now know how to find the volume using unit cubes.